face and stand in with my back up. So 1 Samuel 17, this funny, funny story, it's weird, isn't it, um, of David and Goliath, what's going on? I stood up last week in a big congregation, it was great, it was a privilege, I was delighted to be there, I was encouraged to know what they thought, well, I, I saw a few faces. Maybe I've got a clue what some of them were thinking, because there's this big old church, I mean, you know, that church I was in last week was a big old place, lovely people in it, but it was huge, and, and a lot of people all stacked up in seats all at the back and at the sides, and it was huge, and you get to the front, you look at it, it's full of people. And uh, I was being asked about what we do, <clears throat> which was lovely. Concerned people want to pray for us, want to help us with what we're doing. They wanted to know about it, so I was being asked questions about what we're doing. And, and as I got halfway through, I could see people thinking, this guy's bonkers. <laughs> you, know, you get that sort of impression. <laughs> so it's really He's mad. Um, <laughs> well, that's all I got. I'm sure they were very kind about it. Was no, but I was talking about planting churches, little churches around the place. In, in areas where it's, you know, it's been tried, <laughs> frankly it's been tried, it hasn't gone well for people. And, uh, and then he said, how many of you are there on a Sunday? Oh, <laughs> oh I could just see a few just glaze over, the boy's mad. And there's this implicit assumption, you are too small, or too weak, or too unable to go and do something great for God, to make him look good. Okay? That's the assumption, isn't it? How many of you are there? 100% quality. I mean, that's the relevant answer, isn't it? It's not a number. It's a day. You can sometimes be too big a church to plant a church. We can't say it. Too big a church to plant a church. Oh, we can organise this and we can organise that and we can devote resources and we can... something that gives God glory. Because as Paul writes, when I am weak, then is he strong. So here's the story of David and Goliath. You know what it's about, don't you? Not many of us did Sunday school, did we? But, but we do know what David and Goliath's about. Great story of the weak and the strong, isn't it? And God is glorified in taking the weak and the frail and the foolish, and the things that are not. And this mad nutter has turned up in our big church on a Sunday night. He's talking about doing this and that. He must be off his trolley. Because if he picks that up and uses it, it just goes to show it's not that. It's not that fruit cake. Who's done this? That's got to be God. I've been practicing standing with my back up against the wall. Give the impression that I